Okay, so this is Sarah, and this is one of our AI children. I think this one is, uh, yeah, it's the, the red one. We haven't named them yet, kind of on purpose. I think we're waiting until we get to know them a little bit better before we decide on names. And it's basically a Jetson module with a auxiliary fan tacked on the front. There's a little, like, extra shield board that Mark designed real quick that connects to a motor that's mounted at the top here. And that's going to fling around a little, like, glass bead dingus right there. And it's basically just going to flick the inside of the glass enclosure that this is going to be chucked up inside of so that every time the child recognizes something up on the ceiling, it indicates that it has by flicking the glass. In addition to that, the light source, these LEDs that are mounted on the top and bottom, they're going to pulse each time the child recognizes something. So that'll be the indication that something is happening. What we're hoping will happen is, since it's going to be a dark room, it's a planetarium, the lanterns will be mounted at the four opposing corners of the space, and as they dim and brighten, the color level or the hue, the general feel of the room will shift depending on which child is recognizing something and which ones aren't. So if, for whatever reason, hypothetically, like, Red Baby is really good at recognizing things on the ceiling and is more prolific, then the room will predominantly be a more red hue. So each one of these racks is going to mount up inside of a glass bell. They're each a little bit different, and each of the glass bells is sort of like the light bulb that's going to kind of float in the center of an actual lantern fixture. And I created some lantern fixtures from scratch out of 3D printed and laser cut parts. They break down flat so I can stick them in my luggage and transport them to Europe with me. And that is a nice backup plan, but what I would really like to have happen is uh, once we get to Linz, I'd like to source some real, real lanterns. Lanterns that actually once functioned as lanterns and modify them so that our kids fit in those. Because that kind of, you know, goes along with the whole concept of souls or spirits residing within mundane, everyday, inanimate objects. So Mark and I are doing the final, I guess, checklist, test, check, dry run. We're also testing these things with the actual planetarium software uh, so that if the children actually do see constellations in our generated skyscape, at that point in time when they draw the boundary box around what they see, they'll also pulse once and the motor will rotate and flick the glass with the glass bead. So long as they all do that at the appropriate time and it's not absolute chaos and cacophony, then we're going to start breaking these down and fitting them in our luggage, which terrifies me. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be okay. It has to be okay. These things are gonna make it they're gonna work. And once we get to Austria and get set up in our, our apartment space, it's just going to be a matter of honing the software, what we already have, all of the presentation, hardware stuff, the aesthetics, that's all gonna be done. Until my next update, keep making awesome stuff out there. And as always, thank you for watching.